Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I am so excited for today's book because this one is one of my favorite books by my favorite illustrator and author, Eric Carl, and it is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do I start on this page? No, that's just an extra page. There's no words and no pictures. Should I start here? No, I can never fool you. There are pictures, but no words. How about here? Oh, well, there's pictures and words, but this is the title. So let's read it together. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. And one more extra page. This one is the dedication page. It says, for my sister, Krista. How nice that he wrote a book for his sister. Do I start here? Yes, there are words, there are pictures, and all the words are the same size. So let's get started with my, one of my favorite books. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Look very carefully, can you find the egg? Can you find it? It's oh, right there, a tiny, tiny little egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry little caterpillar. Look carefully, can you see that tiny hungry little caterpillar? He started to look for some food. And there off he goes. On Monday, he ate through one, what is it? Apple, you're right, one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through one, two, two pears, but he was still hungry. What day comes after Tuesday? You guys know that's a hard one. It's Wednesday. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums, but he was still hungry. Thanks for helping me say the words. Can you guys tell this book has a pattern? It always is ending, he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four. What's the name of that fruit? You're right, it's strawberries. He ate through four strawberries, but help me say it, he was still hungry. This poor little caterpillar, he is just not getting filled up. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh, so we had Friday. What day comes after Friday? Does anyone know? It's a hard one. I don't know. It's Saturday. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Do you think he was still hungry? No, I don't think so. That is so much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and he felt much better after that. Oh, after that, he felt much better. It is tricky to read upside down sometimes, friends. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. <gasps> he was so full of all that food. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. Look at all those beautiful colors. Can you see why I love Eric Carle's artwork? Doesn't he use such beautiful colors and mix them so pretty? Ah, the end. Thanks for reading one of my favorite stories with me, friends. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.